Okay, good morning and welcome. In this video, we'll go over a technique, a muscle energy technique called uh, post isometric relaxation. So, as the name implies, there will be an isometric contraction, and then after that, you will be given a brief window of relaxation, uh, not like a like a spa kind of relaxation, but the muscle will be able to relax and be able to then lengthen just a bit more. So we're gonna take advantage of that window to help improve range of motion and reduce the tension in specific muscles around the neck, okay? So the neck does a few things. It does forwards, it bends forwards, it bends backwards, it rotates to the side and the other side. Um, it can do both of them at the same time. So we can rotate and then bend forwards and then bend backwards and then we rotate to the other side and the same thing um, from this perspective it looks like this you look to one side you bend forwards you notice this muscle over here pops up because that's the muscle that does this so there is a muscle that does every there is a muscle for every specific movement okay and we're going to try and go through all of them so the most easiest thing to do um, and the safest thing for your neck in terms of ex applying external resistance because it's very dangerous to load the neck with so much resistance you can hurt yourself they're very small muscles and they're very easy to strain um, I myself am subject to many neck strains as a result okay so I learned my lessons um, you can use your hands but then the problem with that is um, you've got your shoulder raised and this is where some of the insertions are so by doing that you already are you're strengthening some muscles around the neck but because you're using your upper traps um, it kind of just like it's not as effective okay so a better thing to do uh, than to use your own hands is to not use your hands at all so we've got gravity gravity is pretty good we've got leverage Gravity and leverage are the only ones you're gonna look through um, when talking about strengthening neck muscles. However, this is not just about strengthening, it's also about um, reducing the tension. And you can reduce tension through the post-exercise effect of, of these kind of contractions, okay? Um, so, you're gonna need a bed, a pillow if you want for comfort, um, depending on how squishy and uh, bouncy your bed is. This bed is you can see that as I push weight down, it'll kind of like bend down. So to avoid me hitting the frame of the bed, I'm gonna put a pillow. And the first movement is gonna be the forward flexion. Okay, so forward bending. To resist forward bending with gravity, we just lie down with our head hanging out and we're just gonna keep our neck straight. So we're looking up and this is going to work the muscles on the front of the neck. We're gonna hold that for 10 seconds nine eight once you're close to three seconds you breathe in you breathe out and as you breathe out you relax a little bit you just you just look look behind you um and to control how much you go back you can either bring yourself more towards the bed so that you can limit how much you, you can see how now i can't even like make eye contact with the camera but the further out i push myself the more range my head can fall down into, okay? And we're gonna hold that for double the length that we contracted for. So if we held for 10 seconds, how many seconds are we gonna hold the stretch for? 20 seconds, good job, yes, I knew you could do it. Okay, so this is the principle, and so whilst we're, we're facing up, we're going to change the direction of that. So, we're going to look to the side, and keep our head balanced straight. So we're gonna be looking straight over there. We're gonna hold for how many seconds? 10 seconds, that's right. And then once 10 seconds are over, we try to breathe in and breathe out. And as we breathe out, we let our head drop and you should feel the side stretching. And now a, a good thing you can do as you're stretching, as the 20 seconds pass is myofascial release, self myofascial release. So using the pads of your fingers, you're just going to drag the skin down and you can bring yourself up put the put your pads on your on your skin of, of, your, of the muscles around your neck and you can just drag down as your head moves down all right so that's something you can do as you stretch okay and we typically want to do two to three sets of that so 
if I do this once and I said we're gonna do two to three sets of that how many more sets are we gonna do after doing one we're gonna do either one or two more so I would say start off with two see how that goes if it goes pretty good then go on to three other side is the same thing now we've done all of the uh, we've done we've done straight we've done rotation with flexion very good now we're gonna do the same thing but with our stomach down so oh yeah we're gonna look straight down keeping our heads neutral or neck neutral and you might have to move forwards a little bit hands back once 10 seconds are almost done i start to take a deep breath in getting ready to relax as i breathe out breathe out and the neck bends forward as it bends forward remember you can use your hands you can pull the nice pull your shoulder muscles down oh that feels so good and you just Twenty seconds. Okay. Now we're gonna do the rotation one. So looking to the side. Ten seconds. And then we go down with our head and our hands. So you can play around with the angle, just not to come straight, can come from the shoulder as you go down, and that gives you a nicer, a more more defined stretch. Okay. Once you've done one of each, how many more sets are we doing of that? In total, two to three. So if you've done one, we've got to do at least one more, if not two more. Okay. So that is the post asymmetric relaxation technique for the neck muscles, along with myofascial release to strength, uh, to, strength to um, intensify the stretch. Okay. Um, what else are we doing? So that was with gravity. And now with leverage, it's a little bit different. So I would start off with this first because it's easier than leverage. Leverage implies using your own body weight against your neck. I will do another video on that. Another video on that um, because I think it's just something on its own, all right? So I'll leave you with that now. Great. Um, look at the description for the dosage. Once again, it's gonna be, you know that we're doing three sets and uh, how many times a week? Ideally we'd want this every time you're on bed. So if you can do it in the morning, great. If you don't have time in the morning, that's okay, do it at night. You can do it at night and not in the morning, you know, just as I said, that's fine. Uh, you want to do it as many times as you can in a day. So at least ideally twice a day, three sets twice a day, or you can do one set in the morning minimum and then do three sets at night so that you have at least four sets in the day. But again, look at the description so that you don't have to watch the whole video and then go through my thinking process.